My name's Oliver Clark, I'm 22 years old. I grew up in Quakers Hill, played all my junior footy for Quakers Hill Destroyers. It started when I was three years old. My brother Hayden was two years older than me and went to start playing football and uh, mum knew I wanted to play so she just let me start a couple of years early and uh, ever since then, right from kindergarten, you know, I used to go to school dressed as a football player on Mufti days so I knew from a very young age that that was what I wanted to do. I ended up getting to play Howard Mance the year young and sort of just made a go from it from there. I uh, played with boys like Robert Jennings then, all the way back when we were 14, so sort of just got a lot of bad injuries at bad times and uh, I think that just sort of killed the momentum in me moving forward and saw an opportunity to come over here to the Tigers, so you know, I took that up and didn't really look back and had a good pre-season and um, I felt early on in the year for the first three games I was playing pretty well. Uh, the best footy I'd played in a couple of years. And then in round four I broke my jaw, so I missed four weeks there and then my first game back was actually last week. Had a good enough game and uh, Madge gave me the call up to NRL this week to make my debut. So he actually did it by phone just because uh, Cup played on a different day so I was at home and not in training that day. So he had to call me to tell me to come in the next day, which I wouldn't normally have. So yeah, I was just at home with my brother and uh, I got the call and I didn't really know what to expect. I thought he'd just say, good game on the weekend, welcome back. But uh, he told me I was gonna get a go to play and uh, yeah, I got a bit choked up on the phone and I just told my brother straight away, but I, I waited all day till mum and dad got home. I wanted to tell them all together in person. Um, so yeah, that was pretty special. Mum just pretty much started crying and even dad got a bit emotional. So. Um, yeah, it was, you know, you sort of dream about that moment and it was pretty cool. I had to ask him a couple of times, I had to clarify with him that it was NRL that I was going to debut at and not some other made up league. So I sort of just sat around at home, didn't know what to do with myself. I couldn't really do anything. I just sat there and I, I, I was just yeah, a bit rattled and didn't know what to do with myself. I just wanted to wait to tell them. Yeah, it took a while to sink in for sure. So we got into camp and um, yeah, we did captain's run, it was, it was a pretty good session. They do a little thing at the end where all the boys gather around and, and you just talk about what it means to you. They ask you some questions. Um, you know, it's sort of like an initiation thing. You know, I was sort of overwhelmed by the support of all the other boys. You know, everyone, everyone else seemed so happy for me. So, um, yeah, that meant a lot to me. So on the morning of the game at about 11 o'clock, we went for a team walk and we just went to a park across from the hotel and played a bit of kick tennis. And that sort of just helped relax you a bit, it was a bit of fun. You know, I felt confident going in that uh, the boys trusted me to get a job done and pretty relaxed. All the boys, they've been there and done it before so they don't get too worked up. I was ready about an hour too early because I just didn't want to be late, so I was just down in the team room waiting. A bit different being in Brisbane. Uh, so before the game, they had my mum and dad come down to, for my jersey presentation. They had Dean Hallettow uh, present my jersey, which meant a lot. He'd, uh, played a lot here at Tigers and you know he was a player that I enjoyed watching. I didn't expect it to be him but uh, you know I thought it was a pretty good person to present it and then gave mum and dad a little cuddle there and uh, and you know it would have meant the world to them to see me there and, and to have my jersey presented and you know, I think mum was tearing up a bit so you know it meant so much to them. You know mum and dad sacrificed so much for me. Uh, you know mum used to drive me to all training all the way through. Um, she used to sit in the car and she's not your normal mum. She doesn't go off and get a coffee. She used to just sit there and watch training and I'd come off the field and she'd tell me my body language was bad in that drill or I did this drill bad. You know uh, my mum would be a pretty good coach I think. She buys into football a lot. Um, you know so it was just as big for mum and dad as it was for me for me to make my debut. So the warm-up was just really intense. Um, Benji really drove that. Just everyone talking, it was really loud, a lot of energy. Um, we did our last little talk and out we went to the field. Um, just running out, sort of just the crowd just floods in on you. It's pretty cool there at Suncorp. But it just went and got out there and, and looked all the way around the field and you know it's probably 30,000 people which I'd never played in front of before and big jets of flames coming up and stuff so it was a pretty cool way to debut. I'd always watched from the sidelines NRL and seeing the atmosphere, you see it at Leichhardt and um, I thought what would it be like to be out in the middle of that and you know I know now and it's, it's indescribable the feeling. Yeah. Tom McKayley was going to come off with a concussion so that was with about two minutes to go in the first half so they got me up and gave me the card and I thought yep this is it and then uh, they cleared him so I sat back down and waited till the second half. I think it was only about five or six minutes into the second half and they, they said, you're on, mate. And, uh, you know, I just thought, you know, yep, this is, this is my time. And got my card and ran down the sideline and it all happened really quick. And, 
I got out there and I was just a bit lost in trying to, I just said, I want to get a carry, I want to get a carry. And you know, I ended up getting one by about the third or fourth tackle and it was an all right run for the game. Um, and the moment I paid her, I just thought, okay, I've come out, I've, I've participated. <laughs> you know, I can say that I've played NRL now. You know, sometimes you can come out and not get involved at all, but you know, I got out there and got straight into it and, and that just took my nerves away. And then sort of just another game of footy, but a lot faster than anything I'd ever played. So, yeah. I mean, the boys got off to such a good start for me. So it took a lot of pressure when you come on and we're already up by 24 points. You know, I'm not a fancy player or anything, so I just sort of go out there and do my job for the team. And I think Madge sort of recognises that I'm someone that will just go out there and do a job for him, and, and he appreciates that. And my next goal is to just play it again. I just want to get back in NRL and, and get another game. And um, that's all it is for me, is getting more of a taste. And, you know, I'm hungry for that. And for me, the next goal is a pretty simple one, and it's to play NRL again. Oh, I could think about a thousand people, my junior club Quakers Hill, but I think uh, you know all my teachers at school who I'm still pretty close with, but uh, the two is just mum and dad and my family. That's, it's pretty easy to narrow in on them. You know, obviously Madge for giving me the opportunity, that, that means the world to me, but uh, mum and dad, that's uh, yeah, just them.